What's up, y'all? It's Jonathan Rollins. I'm back with another reaction to a Swedish classic. And today's song is called Engla Hund, and it's by Hasse Andersson. This song's been suggested by quite a few people, had it on the list for a while, and it's finally time to do it, so let's go. A little bit about the song, it was released in 1982, which happens to be the year I was born, and it was on the album of the same name. This song is categorized as a country song, but it's in Swedish. I don't know if I've seen that before, a song classified as country. I've seen songs that sound like country, but nothing with that actual genre listed on it. So. I'm interested to see what this sounds like. How much different is it gonna be from other songs I've heard that sound like a country song or a country inspired song. The title of this song and the pictures I've seen that are associated with the song leads me to believe that this song is about a dog. I'm not the biggest dog lover in the world, but I do like dogs. As a matter of fact, the dog that I saw in the picture associated with this reminds me of my dog Jasper that we used to have uh, we brought him over, actually, from the U.S. when we moved here. Shout out to Jasper. I loved him. Fun fact, there's a line in this song where Hasse Andersen says, Och skatten er betald. And that refers to a time when Sweden, between 1926 and 1996, had a dog tax. Boy, do y'all love taxes in this country. A dog tax? And I want, like, who was the one that got rid of this <laughs> like what politician came up was like all right uh first thing we're going to talk about now um on my agenda is removing the dog tax <laughs> it's it's time that we stop making people pay taxes on their dogs because dogs are our family you know like how did this go man i want to find out more about the dog tax <laughs> you pay for dogs over three months old who came up with that number like why was it three months that like anything under three months is not so much of a burden on the country of Sweden. Like what's going on, man? I'm glad it's over. I didn't, I would have been freaking out if I moved here and I'm like, found out I was late on my dog taxes. <laughs> like I didn't know I had to even pay it, man. What's going on, Sweden? I'm leaving. <laughs> As for Hasse Andersen, he released 11 albums between 1979 and 1989. That's a very active decade. And of course that's, combined with his band. And this one being in 1982 is earlier in that uh, span of productivity. So I'm uh, ready to check it out. I'm gonna guess that this song goes something like, uh, and then the little barks in the background. The, no, not barks, but howls like, oh, 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 something like that. I don't know, man. I don't know, I didn't write it. Let's figure it out though, man. Let's check it out. I got the I got the lyrics right here so I can read along as I listen and I'm ready to go, man. Here's Engla Hund by Hasse Andersson. Det var sent en kväll, vi hade spelat på en marknad. Trött och frusen stod jag kvar bakom sängen en stund. <laughs> I'm sorry people that are from Skåne, but every time I hear somebody Singing or talking with such a deep <laughs> scorn accent. It tickles me. I don't know why. I don't know why. But um, it's, just, it's so charming and lovely. It's not me making fun of it. It's just, I don't know, man. It makes me laugh. Let's start over. It was a night we had a spell at the mark. Trött and frozen stood and kvar bakom sängen en stund. Now you heard the ogen mumble not. Okay, this is country, man. This is like folk country, like straight up. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> and everything is in the throat, man. <laughs> uh, every old is in 
<laughs> I know that was horrible too. All right, let's go. Let's keep going with this uh, lovely song. It's so like pure country music, especially even all the way down to talking about the dog, because that's what they say. Country music is about your truck, or your dog, or your ex-wife, or the or woman that left you that broke your heart. <laughs> that's what country music is, <laughs> and uh, that's what this. Uh, I, I love it that it's about a dog. And now we're in the breakdown, and he's getting every time he gets into it, and the music comes alive. It's so cool. Uh, let's check out this uh, breakdown. I'm wondering what if what if the taxes weren't paid? Like, <laughs> you think that's gonna keep you out of the dog out of heaven? <laughs> I mean, I guess that is one extra thing to throw in there to, to convince everybody, but or to convince the spail man. But uh, yeah, I don't know. That just popped in my head. 
Let's keep going, see what if this has a conclusion to it. It's a great story. <laughs> But we, <laughs> man, we never got an answer to the question. I thought we were gonna get us a happy ending. Like they would say, hey man, of course your dog is allowed in heaven. We wouldn't have it any other way, but nothing. We just got the question again. Man, but that was a fun experience. Thanks for the suggestion, Angla Hund. And now I get it, Angla Hund is like a angelic, dog like is the dog gonna be an angel with the person who passed away aha i get it that was a cool song i like songs that have a story most story songs have a conclusion this one did not <laughs> and that's what leaves me wanting more i want to hear angler Hoon's part two to see what happens once he i mean you got to get the answer you know how it is in heaven are there other dogs are there people there whose dogs didn't make it because they didn't pay the dog tax? Like, there's so much more we could do with this story. So, uh, Hase and company, let's do it. Let's, let's, bring out the, let's bring out the conclusion of this song. I need to know more. <laughs> I do think the song was a little too long. The chorus is a pretty long chorus in itself. And then, uh, so I, I, the length of the song makes me understand why we didn't get an answer because shit, it would have been like, you know, two more minutes on the song. But I do think the song was a little longer. We get it, we got the vibe. Uh, they had a really long like uh, musical breakdown, which I like musical bridges or whatever you wanna call it. I like when they jam out a bit like that, but when there's so much meat to get to in the song, uh, maybe they could have skipped that long because that song, it was almost five minutes long. Call me a millennial or whatever, or part of the ADHD generation or something like that. I love the, the accent, that's it's charming and it's fun as well. And hearing words uh, spoken like that, it's cool, man. I feel like I, I feel like a connection to, to going there for some reason. It's gotta be because I'm also a Southerner and a lot of my family has an American Southern accent, so I could kinda, kinda relate right there. Let me in, Skorna. Would you, Skorna, accept me as a member of society? <laughs> Can I be honorary Skonsk if I work on my accent? Let me know. I'm down. I'm down to work on my accent and get there. It's really bad right now. I know it. I, I try to say the word prawl, ta. Is that good or bad? I don't know. <laughs> rate me. Rate my Skonsk. Ah, lit a lot. No, I'm so bad. <laughs> I know I'm bad at it though. Paul, ta, ha, so ha, so ha. All right, that's enough. Enough of that. I don't want y'all to think I'm making fun of you. I'm just trying to learn how to talk like y'all, cause it's charming. Gonna say it's not a banger. Gonna say it's not a banger. I'm not the biggest fan of country music anyway. I keep country music kind of at a distance. All the elements were there for a good country song, but a good country song to me is probably not gonna ever be a banger. It's just not my type of music. But it was nice to listen to and it was cool to hear a very, very country song being sung in Swedish and not only Swedish, but with a skonsk britning. So that was a, a cool experience and I appreciate everyone who uh, made the suggestion for that song. We're gonna keep this train rolling. The next song that I'll be reacting to is called Bort Lort by Robert Broberry. I'm gonna guess it's a joke song. I don't know. Bort Lort. It might be silly. It might not. It might be a, a song about nautical navigation. <laughs> we'll see. There's only one way to find out, and that's to check it out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, get notifications, and all that jazz. And most importantly, spread the word. Let people know about this American comedian living in Sweden, reacting to classic Swedish music. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next classic. Peace.